Hello everybody! I am so sorry about that filler video. I don't even know what that's gonna turn out like in after editing it, but it's just these levels were kicking kicking my butt and I was just not having any of it and so I stopped talking. And it also didn't help that one of my family members decided to uh walk into the other room and eat breakfast. Well, I was recording that. Which, if you know me, I'm not a very socially adept person. And so that was the thing that happened. And so everything just kind of went in on Lucas for a little bit and... <laughs> anyway, I hope that that was at least watchable, and I did have that realization about the secret exit. So I'm just going to get a few more lives here. And yes, this is how I... This is how you grind for lives in this game. Thursday already. Fuck. Anyway. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to be swearing in these videos. Or am I? I don't know. Anyway. So gosh, it's Thursday already. I wish I were future Lucas right now. I just school is not a thing that I have learned that I have come to enjoy in life. Ooh, this is this level. Okay, so this is the level. This is the level we're playing. Next level. Next gen, bib, bib, live you too, bib. Anyway, hopefully my commentary should be a bit better than it has been in the last two episodes combined. Um, not only am I actually slightly waking up now, um, and regaining conscious, all that beautiful stuff, but there's no family members in the other room to make me feel awkward about it, about recording videos. Which, I mean, family members, I love you so much, but I just feel like, just feel like YouTube videos are a thing. There we go. So I'm, I'm just gonna be that guy. And I'm gonna go for this exit. <laughs> so, this is already going better than the previous episode. I've only been playing the game. I've only been playing the game for like a minute and a half, and we're already doing levels. Anyway, <laughs> you will notice that we've opened up another path to Star Road. What is Star Road? Unless you've played this game or watched a Let's Play, you don't know. And you're not gonna find out until, like, the end of this Let's Play. Because, yes, for those of you who have played this game and know what Star Road is, I'm going to be saving that for, uh, to be the last thing that I... Well, not the last thing. The last thing that I do is gonna be, um, beating Bowser, but... Beating Bowser, but... Beating that butt. Give me the booty, back up the booty. I want the booty, I need the booty. Look at that booty, look at that booty. Back up the booty, I want the booty, I need the booty. That's what happens when you sing that song. That was just, that was just the game being weird. I refuse any other explanation. See, because I did the exact same thing that time, and it didn't. Ah, uh, whatever. Just just get on with it. Get on with it. Yup, your mama, yup, yup, your mama, yup, yo, when your morning come. That's a reference no one's gonna get. And I'm not even go- I'm not even selling the explanation. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Anyway, so yeah, this is...
Gosh dang it. Okay, so we are... We're doing good. I'm proud of you, son. Future Lucas is proud of you, past Lucas. <sighs> and then we get to this pipe. And ooh, what's that? All the way to the left there. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you asked, audience. Because I sure wasn't going to just sell shirts. Because, you know, I'm... Because I'm not even selling frustration. <laughs> I'm not even selling Kaizo. This is what happens when you mention Kaizo Mario while playing a Mario game. Gosh dang it, Shells. You know what? I'm not even going for that anymore. Okay, thank you. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Oh dear god. Thank you. And halfway point, good. That's a good sign. Halfway points are always a good sign. Those are pipe lacatoos. They're like normal lacatoos, but they're in pipes. Who, who would have thunk it? So let's just speed through the rest of this here level. Fuck. Yes! I can deal with that. That was an okay outcome. <laughs> That's basically the Kaizo level in this game, I would say. And by that I mean it's made up of merciless copy and pastes. Hashtag shots fired. Oh look, and then my audio cuts off. Just wonderful. Oh, this is the dolphin level, cool. I like the dolphin level. I wish I could be listening to this music right now, but I can't hear the music. Holy crap. I believe, um, there was actually a change where in the uh, Japanese version of this game you could eat the dolphins. Um, but of course since America has that problem with, uh, you know, eating dolphins. Holy... no! And that's, yeah. That is a ruthless puffer fish right there. I've actually never tried to just swim to the end of the level before that thing gets you, but I don't think that's a thing that can, like, actually be done. by any mortal man. Oh, here we go. And uh, this is basically being carried. So you know what, I'm okay with that. Unless I can't go in the pipe. Thank you, dolphins. 
Well, thank you, dolphins. And there we go. That's through with that level. And, um... Oh boy, am I gonna get to do the fortress? I think I'm gonna do the fortress, and then, um... What we're gonna do is... After this fortress is completed... I'm going to save and quit, and we can check our progress on goals. These are the, uh, the bonefish. Which, uh, you may recognize them. I don't know if, if they've, um, shown up in any newer Mario games, per se, but, um... They've definitely been in, um... I know they were definitely in Mario Kart 7. So you'll recognize them from there. Um... God, I'm trying to think. Were they in Super Mario 3D World? Because I've been, um... I was playing Super Mario 3D World for a while there. But I, um, stopped actually, like... I uh, stopped playing it like a week before this Let's Play started. And, uh, yeah. Because, um, I don't know. I just kinda... I'm not trying to, like, say it's a bad game, because I don't think there are any bad Mario games, but... This is... this Super Mario 3D World was a game that I kind of got bored with very quickly. But maybe I'll go back and start trying to 100% it again in a few days, and suddenly I'll be like, No, I was wrong. It was so awesome the whole time. I think, um... I think it's just... I think everything is just gonna be a letdown after Galaxy 2. That was... Galaxy 2 was like the penultimate Mario game. Is that penultimate? Is penultimate the one where it's like the... Prime example. Either way, Galaxy 2 was some good crap. Anyway, this is uh, Renzor. There we go pretty easy, you just need to knock the, uh, the four guys off the platforms, and, uh, yeah, then you beat them. That was, I suppose Renzor is kind of an anti-climax of a boss. And this opens up a funny little bridge over here. Continue and save. Uh, now, as you can see, the problem here is that we can literally skip all of World 4 right now. Um, but we're not going to do that. Well, that should have saved my progress. Uh, so, gonna break the, the fourth wall here. Breaking the fourth wall. And, uh... time to check out the progress we've made. So I believe... Yes, we are Mario B. So, we are essentially a third of way through this Let's Play right now. Which is slightly mind-boggling, but I suppose it does get harder on a gradual level. Yes, we're exactly a third, actually, because there are 96 exits in total. Huh, what do you know? Anyway. Oh. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Will Lucas get more exits? Will he have any more difficulty with levels? Will he rage more? <laughs> Will his grandfather decide to eat breakfast in the next room again? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z!